one consequence of um, the age of scaling is that there was this um, scaling sucked out all the air in the room. Yeah. And so because scaling sucked out all the air in the room, everyone started to do the same thing. We got to the point where uh, we are in a world where there are more companies than ideas mm. by quite a bit. Actually on that, you know, there is the Silicon Valley saying that says that ideas are cheap, execution is everything. And people say that a lot. Yeah. And there is truth to that. But then I saw, I saw someone say on Twitter um, something like, if ideas are, are so cheap, how come no one's having any ideas? <laughs> and I think it's true too. I think, like you, if you think about um, a research progress in terms of bottlenecks, there are several bottlenecks. If you go back to the, if, if you, and um, one of them is ideas, and one of them is your ability to bring them to life, yeah. which might be compute, but also engineering. So if you go back to the 90s, let's say, you had people who had, had pretty good ideas. And if they had much larger computers, maybe they could demonstrate that their ideas were viable, but they could not. So they could only have very, very small demonstration that did not convince anyone. Yeah. So the bottleneck was compute. Then in the age of scaling, computers increased a lot. And of course, there is a question of how much compute is needed, but compute is large. So compute is large enough such that it's like not obvious that you need that much more compute to prove some idea. Like I'll give you an analogy. AlexNet was built on two GPUs. That was the total amount of compute used for it. The transformer was built on eight to 64 GPUs. No single transformer paper experiment used more than 64 GPUs of 2017, which would be like what, two GPUs of today? So the ResNet, right? Many, like even, even the, the um, you could argue that the like O1 reasoning was not the most compute heavy thing in the world. So they're definitely, for, for research, you need like definitely some amount of compute, but it's far from obvious that you need the absolutely largest amount of compute ever for research. Mm. You might argue, and I think it is true, that if you want to build the absolutely best system, if you want to build the absolutely best system, then it helps to have much more compute. And especially if everyone is within the same paradigm, then compute becomes one of the big differentiators. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.